Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Crucible. The game from Amazon Studio just released. Um, it's it's okay if you look at the optimization of it, but they have a lot of issues like with stuttering. I saw a lot of crash also, so I can't really help you guys for crash and whatever error that you're getting. Uh, they're probably going to fix it. They will need to patch a couple of times this game for sure. Uh, and also I will show you uh, what we need to change inside of the game but we don't I don't have any special trick for the config file because the config file is pretty simple each time you change something in your game it will save in the config file and you will see that your config file will update but uh, it's pretty much like beauty and performance you just have like two uh, graphic parameter that you can change so first of all the first thing that you need to do make sure that you're removing game mode uh, you will uh, for, for sure I did a couple of tests with game mode like 80% of the game, I'm getting like stuttering with it. So just remove it and you will gain also a couple of FPS uh, improvement, two to three. So really important to do that. Also remove the game bar, really important. You will get some stuttering with this. And the last thing is all those capture background recording and recorded audio, make sure that they are at off. Now let's go inside of the game. Inside of the game, we will start with video. I'm playing 1080p for sure. If you have a, like a laptop with an integrated video card, you will need to lower this. Uh, but normally, you just match your resolution with the, your your monitor. So normally, if you're playing 2K, just go with 2K. Display mode. This one is really important, honestly. Uh, I saw a big difference between borderless full screen and exclusive full screen. Go exclusive full screen. I was losing like 4 to 5 FPS. And also, I was getting stuttering with the borderless one and even the window one. So just go with exclusive full screen. VSync, I'm not using it. I don't want any input lag and my frame rate are unlimited because I want to know like what, what, when I do change in my graphic parameter, if I'm getting more than 144 because I'm using a 144 Earth screen. So that's pretty much it. Texture filtering quality, texture quality really depend on your VRAM. If you have three gig and more, on your video card just go with high with those two if you have less than three gig go with low model quality didn't see a huge increase over there it's like three percent uh and i did a like it really depends on your computer if you have a really low end computer for sure go with low but honestly it's not worth it uh, i have a couple other parameters that you can change that will help you a lot more than this water quality this one go with low it's like five to six percent improvement and when you're fighting and when you see water when you're fighting i see a big start big starter ring on my laptop so go with low for this one it will help you a lot to stabilize your fps shading quality just go with i i did a couple of tests honestly it's like two 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 three percent not a huge deal so again if you have like a mid-range computer gtx 960 or whatever 1050 ti you can definitely go with i with this one Shadow quality, this is the most important one. It's like 10 to 12% of uh, improvement in your FPS. So honestly, if you want to test, just start everything at I except shadow. Do a test. If you you like your FPS and the way you're, you're running the game, just do that. Uh, it will help you a lot with your FPS for the shadow quality. This is the most important parameter. Post-processing quality, I don't like post-processing in this game. So first of all, I just re I'm putting at low. But also, I'm getting another 4 to 5% of improvement. So that's pretty much nice. So that's why I'm using low over there. Anti aliasing, this one is a bit tricky. Uh, you're losing like 5% of FPS with SMAA. Uh, FXAA, it's like 2%. And if you remove it, um, you will like gain 5% 5, 5 total. But uh, the thing is, um, you will see a lot of like line breaking and stuff, a lot of aliasing with this engine. So FXA, I feel like it's a good spot for a low end computer. And if you have like mid range and more, just go with SMAA1TX. So that's about it. Press apply. So if you want to see where is the config file, the config file is in the C drive, user, the name of your computer, app data. This is uh, hidden from Windows. So make sure that you're seeing your uh, hidden file local AGS crucible and you need to open the preference cruci pref over there I'm opening it with the uh, notepad plus plus so this is pretty much it you see all the parameter that you're using inside of the game so when you put I you will see beauty when you put low you will see performance and uh, yeah the one thing that I didn't mention inside of the game it's the audio quality setting so I will show you right now let's go back to setting 
audio. If you have a low-end uh, CPU, go with audio quality low. I, I did a couple of tests on uh, i3 computer and uh, I was surprised. It helped a lot for the FPS. So if you have like a low-end CPU, go with low. For the rest of it, just go with i. So it's pretty much the same in your uh, config file. Audio quality, performance equal low and beauty equal i. So that's about it, guys. If you have any uh, questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.